Hi TT, welcome to my vlog. <laughs> It is Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023, and uh, y'all, your girl is like, Lord, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um... I went to go visit my dad last week for Christmas, you know, routine visit, y'all. Go for a week, sis gonna go home, and that's the end of it. Um, But the very last day, literally like mere hours before I was scheduled to get on my flight, I just heard it so strongly that God wants me to relocate my life to Cleveland, Ohio. Whew. Okay, cool. Like, you want me to move? Whatever. I'll move. What's the timeline you talking about, sir? Y'all, pretty much, it's like 90 days, I feel like. That's what I keep hearing. Like, before, um, I felt like he wanted me to move. Um, just in my quiet time, my devotion time, um, before even going to visit my dad, I just kept hearing April in my spirit while I was um, doing my devotion time. Um, even before I was doing my devotion time, like I just kept sensing that something in April like was going to happen, but that it was going to be life changing to the point that I wrote it down in my journal. And I was like, I don't know what this is about, but, you know, reveal it in your time or whatever. Um, so, yeah, December 30th. Yeah, I've I've. Felt the the little urge and nudge to move in and, and just praying um, even more and kind of just seeing the timing. I believe it's gonna be like April time that I move, and yeah, y'all. I don't really know how to feel about it. It's just wild. So, I guess I'm just going to document <laughs> when I feel led to on this journey and take you guys along on my thoughts um, as I navigate this and really still, you know, spend time in prayer and just getting better clarity and all of that but as of right now second quarter of the year sis is out of california and that is wild it has been a month since the last video and there has been a lot of new developments it is official i am moving to cleveland ohio on april 12th and navigating transition is so uncomfortable. There's so many different feelings and emotions that come with this move because for me, it's acknowledging the fact that I'm, I'm leaving home. California has been home for me basically my entire life. And I thought I would pretty much be here forever. Um, I just always remember saying that I'll never leave California and this is why you should never say never y'all. Um, so I've been 
obviously praying this month for the last month, seeking God on clarity, talking to wise counsel um, to submit what I was hearing from the Lord and just, you know, having my trusted community um, be able to speak into that. And everyone has confirmed like that I'm hearing God right and my family has been super supportive. My friends and community has been super supportive. Um, in this month, I have given notice um, and have resigned from my position at my job, um, which is so bittersweet um, because Kingdom Culture is not only my church home, but I work there and I get the honor and the privilege of being a part of a staff who gets the opportunity to build God's house. And I've been at Kingdom Culture for like seven years and five out of those seven years I have been on staff. Um, it's my longest standing job. <laughs> um, so I have roots here. So obviously it's just... It's a lot of feelings. It's a lot of emotions. And I know that this is a good thing. It is a good thing. It is a God thing. But right now, um, it doesn't feel like a good thing. I feel so many different emotions. I I feel sad. And I know God has call, allowed me to really grieve the last quarter of um, 2022, it was really, really intense. And at the time, I didn't know I was grieving for what is happening now. And I, once God started showing me, I was like, oh, okay, like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be as bad then because I know the intensity of the grief that I was feeling, um, a few months ago. So... I'm a little surprised if I'm honest, just on the different feelings and overwhelmness. That's even a word that I'm feeling right now. Um, I am having to like condition myself to tell myself that this is a good thing. So I should be excited. I should feel joy. I should feel all of that. And I know that it will come. But right now, I don't feel that way. I feel anxious. I feel highly nervous. <laughs> a little bit of like, I think I heard God wrong. But that's just honestly where I'm at right now. So I know that I am doing the right thing. I know that this is a God thing. And how I currently feel is just in this current moment. And it'll get better, so. So it's March 1st, 
your girl has about like 40 more days here left in California, which is cray. And I have felt every single feeling you could possibly feel in the month of February. <laughs> but I'm finally feeling super excited um, and I am in high anticipation about my new journey. So today I have a busy work day because I have about a month to close out everything at work so I can make sure I leave everything better than I found it because that's just the kind of girl I am. So I'm going to be like making a to-do list of everything that I want to get done in this month that will help set up the new person who's taking over my position. I am also going to be booking my one-way ticket to Cleveland today. That's exciting. I'm not booking a round trip. I am booking a one-way ticket. So that's super exciting. I have also been doing some research on shipping my car and I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on this company that I was speaking to yesterday. So I'm gonna get that booked today. I thought that I could have my car booked, um, not booked, but ship out like the day before I wanted to leave. But turns out I actually need to have my car shipped a week before I officially move because they need like a five business day window to come pick up my car so because that's Easter leading up to Easter weekend that's one of the biggest events um for our church i.e work for me so I definitely want to make sure I get my car shipped before that and puts a little wrench in the plan um because I'm definitely thinking I could have my car at least to the day before I moved um but Worst case, I will Uber or Lyft to and from work for a couple of days or just get a rental car because um, I got the hookup on that. So yeah, today's going to be, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Booking, booking a flight, securing my car pickup and, you know, making my Santa Claus list, as I like to call it, <laughs> of all the things that I need to do in the month of March for work so I can close out strong. But y'all, I'm really doing this. I'm moving to Cleveland. Whatever, Kenny. Oh my god, my trip is booked! <laughs> OMG, I did it. One way ticket to Cleveland. Why did my heart just start beating? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. The countdown is officially on. It's about 26, 25 more days left here in California. And all that's really left now is packing and going through my clothes, figuring out what I'm gonna get rid of, what I'm going to take. I just don't want to take anything that I know I am not going to use. So it's the perfect time to declutter and downsize and become very minimal. <laughs> Day is the day of my going away party. 
I'm excited. I'm excited. Today is also my second to last Sunday here. And it's so bittersweet. It's so bittersweet. I cannot believe next Sunday is going to be my very, very last hoorah. Today's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be all about me. I have been there for me, and just to have you guys all here means so, so much. Um, but yeah, I couldn't leave here with one without celebrating you all because I love you guys very much. But then, um, <laughs> um, but then also, it was also really important to me to have just people that I love just pray over me before. I head on to this new journey and phase of life. So Byron and Greg are going to do that right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, we can, so if you do have any words of encouragement or affirmation for Kitty, we will create a space for that as well because we believe in that, right? It's like it's, it's nothing like going or being sent into assignment with clear directions from God on yeah. mm -hmm. what to look for. Work of her hands that you allow her to do. Thank you that you brought both her natural family and spiritual family together as a day of marking, yeah. this day of future forward progress. We thank you, Lord God, that while our natural hearts are saddened by this day coming, because we know that we won't have the same level of touchable response with Kitty in the face-to-face -face aspect, we thank you, Father, that you are going to allow our hearts for her to burn to the point of great levels of intercession for her as her journey continues to proceed forward. We take authority over the plans of hell. We diminish every negative thought. We pull down, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 through 5, we pull down every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Every image that would try to paint itself to be a, a distracting force against her forward progression, we curse it now and we send it to the pits of hell and we call in the mind of Christ. For your word said, let this mind be in us and be in Kitty, which was also in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, that you're blessing her. Thank you, Lord God, that you are ordering her steps. Thank you, because your word said, yeah, uh-huh. Psalm 37, 23, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. So, Father, we thank you that you take pleasure. You take delight in Kitty's way. We bless her, Lord God. We bless her mom. We bless her family. We bless her family even in Cleveland. Thank you that you go before her, and you do make the crooked places straight. Hallelujah. And you make the rough places smooth. Thank you, Lord God. The glory shall be shown all around her, and everybody in her vicinity will see it together. We cover, we cover her with the blood of Jesus, even as she prepares to travel, as, as she prepares to leave. And we thank you, Lord God, that everything that's been said to this point and will be said to her in edification to her process and journey will continue to push her and be the rear guard for her, her next place, Lord God. We bless her, and we say, finally, Lord God, no weapon formed no against weapon. Kitty yeah. shall be able to prosper, and every yeah. tongue that rises against her in judgment shall be condemned. But this is our heritage, Lord God, that you've allowed us to be in our righteousness because of you, our Father God. Now bless these families members of her. Yes, Bless the, the, the owner of this house, Lord God, for yes, opening this space, Lord yes, God, for, for Kitty to be honored, to be celebrated, to yes, be appreciated, yes. to be pushed into purpose. Bless this house. We thank you, Lord God, for your divine protection, yes. your keeping power, and God, we give you praise, we give you glory. Yes. Only in Jesus Christ's name we do pray and believe. Everybody that believes that says amen. amen. Back home from my going away party, and today was so good. My heart is like full, okay? My people showed up, they loved on me, and it means more than I could ever properly communicate. As someone who has struggled in relationships across the board, to be in a place where I am fully supported and loved by such an amazing group of people, just, uh, I am so grateful to God to have my natural family and my spiritual family all in one place, affirming me, loving on me, celebrating me, praying over me, prophesying. It just did my heart some good and has just made me even more excited about what is to come.
We're about T minus 11 days, 11 days. That's so crazy that it, like the time is here because when I initially said I was going to do this move, it felt like this move date was going to be forever in a day to get here. At one point it was, but the fact that it is here um, is wild. Time goes really fast, y'all. Um, I just have to get through this work week. This is my very last week of work. My very last week here at Kingdom Culture in this capacity. This is a goodbye on this, on this part of the journey. You know, with family, with friends, community, it's a see you later. But with this work chapter, like, it is a final goodbye. And it's so crazy um, because I am the type of person where I'm like, I want to be here forever. <laughs> I'm going to be here forever. And I really thought that I was going to be here forever. And the fact that I'm not and that your girl is being sent out somewhere else is like, okay, okay, God. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. It is so, it's so wild. It's so wild. This has just been teaching me um, the importance of just keeping an open heart as far as what it is that God just wants to do in and through your life. Like you think it's going to happen one way. You think you're going to be at that job for X amount of time where you'll be in this state X amount of time. Um, and the simple fact that God can just switch it up on you and um, have you do something new. Before, it used to be really scary, um, but not so much anymore. If anything, I am I'm wanting to experience more of the unknown, more of, you know, not wanting to be in control so much and not being so stuck or tied to a... Uh, a specific place, um, you know, thinking that's what brings security. Um, I'm realizing that the ultimate security is within the Lord himself. And as long as I am anchored, <laughs> I am anchored and I am solid in him. It does not matter where I am. Um, I'm always going to be okay. And this journey is going to show me that, that I am going to be okay. I am going to be more than okay. Um, and that I am, that I am covered and provided and protected and all the things. Y'all, I'm growing up. I am growing up over here, okay? Good morning, friends. Today is a Wednesday, April 5th. Um, it's about 8 o'clock. And today is car shipping day. That is right. My car is getting shipped out to Cleveland today. Uh, it is feeling very real um, and very final. So... The guy is scheduled to come pick up my car between 10 and 11 today. Um, he has one stop before me that he's going to head out to my area to get my car. So your girl is on her way to Starbucks so I can get me a chai latte and some breakfast. And then I'm going to head back to the house and up my car and pray to the Lord above that everything 
can fit in my Honda. Now, my Honda has surprised me over the years with the amount of things it can hold in this car. So I am praying my girl will just come through for me and fit everything I need to fit in this car because I don't want to ship any boxes. Like shipping boxes is expensive. Um, and or I don't want to have to like buy another luggage. That could be another way I could do it. I don't want to have to buy another like big luggage to put the rest of the items in there, which are my shoes. It's all like all my shoes that are in boxes and then all of them that are not in boxes. So I am going to see how all of this transpires. So yikes, this is crazy. Not only is my car getting shipped today, but one week from today, I am hopping on a plane and moving to a new state. So there's that. It's really happening. <laughs>